Hello everyone, James McKinney here again, and today I want to discuss rucksacks and packs that were used by U.S. troops in the Republic of Vietnam. First thing I would like to talk about is the lightweight rucksack. There are three minor differences in between the three types. The first type is welded frame. See how everything's welded on there? Cool. Now, the second type came out in 65 with riveted frame. The third type came out in 68 and also incorporated a riveted frame, but also had an improved frame with, a, with the addition of a lumbar strap and brackets to hold the lumbar strap in place. Now, one of the things about this is, notice that I did not use the terminology P64, P65, or P68, as in this is a pure collectorism and the United States Army never referred to them as such. Moving on. Natick Labs Arvin Rucksack. Alright, now, you know, not a very big pack, but, you know, it was designed for sub-100 pound men. And the two outside pouches are the size of a sea rat box. Incorporated the X-frame design, which, very inferior design by today's by today's standards, but pretty cool for back then. Now, who used this? Arvin, and you sometimes see, quite frankly, a lot of Marines using them, especially from the recon community. Why, you might ask? Because this is what they had instead. The M41 Marine Corps Haversack which remained virtually unchanged since the Second World War. The only thing that changed is the color. <laughs> All right, moving on. This is the Tropical Rucksack, which was part of the M67 gear family, made out of nylon. Borrowed the X-frame design from the Arvin Rucksack. Double quick release on the straps. Three frontal pockets. Plastic snaps. All the capacity. Carry more stuff. Who used these? Um, Lurk teams and post 69 Rangers. Now, this is an example of M67 field gear which was rushed into country. Note that not all M67 field gear was used in Vietnam. Some of it was not. Pretty cool. Moving on. CISO Indigenous Rucksack. CISO is acronym for Counterinsurgency Support Office which was located in Okinawa. Ben Baker procured items like this for use by in camps by Special Forces and South Vietnamese. Now, this is made out of impermeated canvas. See how that's kind of impermeated, it's treated. And the strapping is actually untreated, see that? These are completely cis, these are completely these are completely sterile. Direct copy of the MVA pack. See how it's got a matte pocket there and a non-human size waist strap. Alright, here goes one of the cherry pieces of my collection. It's a mint new old stock CISO rucksack. See the color in that? That's what this one looked like at first. Still got the original drawstring. Now, 
Just can't beat this. You don't get much better than that. All right. Thank you for your attention to, the, to this. And that was your introduction to field packs and rucksacks used by U.S. forces in Republic of Vietnam. Thank you.